gossip. <laughs> it's a lot of fun, unless it's about you. That's because gossip is never a positive thing. Did you hear Stephanie saved a bunch of orphans from a burning building? Yeah, she's always had strong and sensitive arms. I mean, some gossip is super fun. Like, I used to work at the LA Fitness on Hollywood Boulevard, and people would live in the walls. People lived in the walls. One time my manager went down because it's two floors and then she saw a broken window and then a tunnel and then there was a bunch of graffiti to like telling you where to go. And people were living in the walls, which would make sense because I was cleaning up at night quite often and would hear people talking and I thought it was ghosts. <laughs> it's just people living in the walls. So today we're making coffee cake, and this is super simple. You don't need a mixer. We're gonna start with our dry ingredients. Two cups all-purpose flour, half a teaspoon of fine sea salt, one teaspoon of baking powder, and three-fourths teaspoon of baking soda. And then just mix that together for about 30 seconds so it's all incorporated. Yes, I promise people did live in the walls. Next, we're gonna work on our crumble mixture. And it's about one and a half cups of finely chopped toasted walnuts. I could have probably used more, to be honest. Uh, about a third of a cup of light brown sugar. You can use dark like I did. One third of a cup of white sugar, a little bit of a salt, teaspoon of cinnamon, and a little bit of butter that's melted. And you're gonna to wanna to crumble and mix all of those ingredients together until every piece of nut has a little bit of sugar, a little cinnamon, and a little butter. The gym is going under construction right now, so unfortunately, no more people living in the walls. See, that's fun gossip. It's fun. We're talking about people living in the walls. But if you're talking about a person, make sure it's something you can say to their face because it will always get back to them. Next, cream about a stick of butter with a cup of sugar together. Just make sure the butter's room temperature so they can easily come together. I've gossiped about people and have ruined relationships. I mean, I've gone on a date and then went and talked about it, made a few jokes, and then got to know the person. And when I got to know him, he was a very nice guy. I forgot about those jokes I made. And guess what? You can take a wild guess. He found out. He found the jokes. And he was like, what did you say about me? And I was like, oh, babe, I'm sorry. I didn't know you. I got to know you and I was so stupid. And you can say bye-bye to that relationship. Bye-bye. Bye bye future. And he's absolutely right. I was being not a good person. I was throwing someone under the bus just for a few likes and a few jokes. <laughs> Next, we'll cut up the apple to go in the dough. And make sure you cut them pretty small because they're going to cook in the dough and you don't want big pieces of apple. Also, you don't have to peel them. The peel's gonna come right off in the baking process. I've been gossiped about before, and I did not like it. Ooh, I thought my life was over. People saying heinous things, a lot of them lies. I thought I was riddled with this disease of fake words. It's hard to not join in on the gossip, especially if you don't like the person in question, but Whatever you say, you can't take back. Also, if you're with a crew who talks badly about everyone, who's to say they won't do the same to you as soon as you leave the room? I have to learn not to talk about others for jokes. I can talk about myself all I want, but I can't do to others the exact thing I hate being done to me. But seriously though, when I was cleaning up the gym at night, you could hear people laughing. And I asked my very no-nonsense male co-worker about it, and he heard laughing too. So we both laughed it off as ghosts, but it was people living in the walls. That's fun gossip. If you're going to talk about somebody behind their back, make sure it's nice. If you have problems, tell them directly. It'll be uncomfortable, but at least you won't be a nasty gossip. Okay, thanks guys. Bye-bye.